I always thought it was really strange when Meghan Markle appeared on that Ellen DeGeneres show. And whatever you think, Ellen did get a few digs in, you know. I thought it was quite amusing, in fact, because if you recall, Meghan was recalling all about how she'd been to that particular studio before and her car had broken down and she had to slide in the back way and all that sort of stuff. People said that this was a borrowed story from a movie. All very confusing, all very complicated. But Ellen very quietly said, oh, yes, but it's a different story now, isn't it? the day you turned up today yeah totally different basically what she meant was security lots of fuss lots of wreckies beforehand that sort of thing Megan the diva but now as you know she has a brand new team two people that are trying their very best to turn the public image around of the former royal how's it going let me explain. Hi, good to see you today. Thank you as ever for your time. Listen, you know, when you, well, I'm sorry, we'll have another wave. Are you all right? Yes, not bad, thank you. Um, you know, when you do work with celebrities as I have over the years and, you know, done marketing, personal PR, all sorts of stuff, I'd have a very illustrious life, let me tell you. But what's interesting is you just learn how to deal with them, you know, and the sort of thoughts of suggesting certain things. I remember working with a very famous record producer one day and I just actually said to his secretary, you know, well why can't he go out and get a sandwich and she looked aghast and said oh you know no he couldn't possibly he'd be mobbed you wouldn't know him you know you knew his music but you certainly had no idea who this guy was fascinating to think the delusionment that these people have about themselves you know i thought oh okay so i ended up having to go and get the sandwiches yeah what's interesting here though is is that has a team turn it around and uh, they're trying desperate there's two new people that they signed up and apparently they were going to do wonders and all that sort of stuff what i would say is they have a very hard job on their hands not because of her just being difficult but because they don't really have the gravitas the back on how to deal with this you know they're very much of an influencer rage digital platforms that sort of stuff and there's far more to it than that let me point that out now here's where it gets really interesting because as we know there's another celebrity right now going through a major problem the ever lovely Jennifer Lopez her latest film bombed a comeback tour wasn't a huge success and the album is stalled too I would just say that it's a glip in a, a, an illustrious career you know simply because people get bored of you they feel they know everything now of course there's the on-off romance bromance whatever you call it with Ben Affleck will they remain married will they not they got together many years ago and now it's all being played out in the tabloids so what they decided to do in order to make JLo look less deaverish was to have a pictured on an economy flight oh yes JLo flies economy guess what this was pitched towards none other than the former royal and the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Do ordinary things, be spotted about, maybe shopping in a mall, uh, you know, not bothered about you, you, the fact that you're connected to the British monarchy. Uh, you don't need all this security, all that sort of stuff. You're just a regular mum doing a normal stuff, which will help your brand very much so moving forward. This is the brand, of course, that's going to be selling jam, dog biscuits and all manner of paraphernalia. Now, to say there was a frost across the room would be an understatement um, because <laughs> there was just a silence, I've been told. <laughs> because, of course, why on earth would somebody of her calibre be wanting to fly economy? Even Madonna did it, you know? Now, you might say oh, it's all for publicity and, you know, you see a lot of celebrities actually taking the tube to the big arenas here in London because they don't want to be stuck in the traffic. I think Rihanna did it and all that sort of stuff, you know? Clever marketing, but it does kind of say, oh, I might spot them on the tube or, oh, I might see them at the supermarket. I can see the rule that they're going down. This did not go down well. Apparently, Megan said, look, people expect me to be a certain way. Think cool Hollywood glamour, the golden age of the movies. They need glamour, sophistication and beauty in their lives. How would that look as ever, allegedly, if I was on an economy flight? Well, apparently they thought this would be very good. And according to that source, it just simply drifted away. So while it's good enough for JLo and Madonna, certainly a former member of the British monarchy, who apparently is just a down-to-earth gal wanting to be friends with everybody, well, seemingly, that's certainly not for her. So next time you check in and maybe look in the cheap seats on a plane, and we've seen, of course, Catherine and William do this on numerous occasions, this is certainly not the world that the former royal known as Meghan Markle will be inhabiting anytime soon. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.